Hi, this is Jimmy the Rusty Pilot. Welcome to my channel. Let's get started. Today, we're going to identify the airport symbols that will help us determine if there is fuel availability at an airport on our sectional chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go on over to uh, skyvector.com. I'm going to go ahead and type in the Miami area, KMIA, if you want to follow along. Um, I'll be zooming in right now. And right now we're looking at the sectional chart. Go ahead and zoom in. All right. And if you notice, on this sectional chart, if you recall, there are different um, size airports. And remember, if the airport, the runways are very long, they would have... Um, you would just have a boxy outline of the runways, but the, usually the smaller runways between 1,500 and 8,069 feet have a little circle, right, that depicts the, di the airport diagram. If you look at right here, okay, so here is, um, okay, here is Miami Executive, okay, here's the airport diagram, we know, remember the circle, Needs paved runway between 1500 and 8069. Notice it has its little tick marks. Tick marks mean that the uh, airport has fuel availability. Okay. Um, and, uh, and it has any type of fuel. Okay. Now, if you really wanted to get specific and try to find out where the fuel is available, uh, like what type of fuel is available, uh, where it's located. On the airport then you would have to go to the uh, supplement charts okay and let's just keep moving along and I'll go here Homestead General was untowered remember untowered with magenta color it's got the tick marks that means that there is fuel availability okay now obviously um, these small airports are private you know they there's no fuel available generally they don't have fuel um, and you would need permission to get in there anyways but I don't want you to get confused with a terminal area chart because look what happens when I go to a terminal area chart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Go to the Miami terminal area chart. Since the scale is 1 to 250,000 instead of 1 to 500,000, and there's, it's like if you can zoom in more, okay? Notice here's Miami executive. It no longer has a little circle because it can fit in the runways, can fit in the drawing. So there on a sectional, there are, I have not found any runway here that before the airport diagram was a circle, now they have all the runways are the boxy outline. So there you would have to go to the chart supplement. Okay. Um, regardless, any airport you go to, here's, I'm back on the sectional, if it already has runways that are more than 8,069 or you don't have the little circle, it's not going to have the tick marks. So you have to go to the chart supplements. Now generally, larger airports, bigger runways, you're going to have fuel availability. But you always have to do the chart supplements to um, determine if what what their hours are that they are open, if they have self-service, etc. Even though most small airports now, general airports, do have 24 hours self-service. That's basically the, um, the topic for today. Uh, and just remember, um, these are the symbols that are right here on the right side, just the tick marks. If it has tick marks, there's fuel availability. Okay, doesn't specify the type of fuel, doesn't specify the times, but just know that there's fuel available. Okay, thank you for uh, <clears throat> thank you for listening. If you would like to add a comment, um, tell me how I can improve this channel, any topic you want to learn about, and also if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and click the button below. Thank you.